Hey, are you struggling to make sense out of complex engineering drawing? Does it look like foreign language to you? In this video, we will turn it into a pro in reading engineering drawing in just five minutes. Hi, my name is Ola Kamaya Barichulami and we will be diving into essentials in interpreting engineering or reading complex engineering drawing. Now, every engineering drawing comprises of the title block which contains the details of the drawing of the drawing to see like the, um, the scale, the name, the details, the time, the date, and so on. It contains more about the writer's information and the drawing's information. Remember, the title block is your roadmap. Now, most engineering drawings so always come in 3D form or in 2D form. In 2D form, I mean to say the front view, side view, and top view. This actually looks different at different perspectives, so don't ever confuse this. Including an engineering drawing, there are four basic steps that you might be put in place as the defined reviews. For today's video, we will look at isometric projection as a case study. And then define the views. I will know that the basic components used in any isometric drawing are front, side, and top view. And the first thing I want to do is have to define this view. Now think in good and bear in mind that the, the, the angle or the view that you are facing at you or the you facing the area that you are looking for is always your front view, okay? Now, the ordinary side that is the other part of it is then your side view, and then the color, the foremost part of it, happens to be the top view. Check the dimension. Most engineering drawings actually contain hidden dimensions, dimensional or which I actually want to find out um, before you can really interpret this drawing. Most of the times, there might be some little additional, some little subtraction. Sometimes, it might actually be in the little maybe guesswork or thereabouts. Or maybe a proportionality work that I actually do. But please keep note of this dimension because you are interpreting a drawing and I can photography drawing, you must take note of the dimension. Look for hidden details. Most isometric will contain hidden details like under, maybe by the side, inside, so way. There might actually be some hidden details in the 3D diagram. So it's your duty to actually push it out and convert it for the Pay attention to section views. Now we know how sectional views are being depicted by that long and short dashes, okay, with the arrow side. Please pay attention to the sectional view. It actually helps you in interpreting isometric drawings too. Now that you have the basics, let's discuss more common pitfalls. A major mistake that most people make in engineering drawings is interpreting the skill. If you don't interpret the skill right, you might actually um, get it wrong. So there's that writing this course in the way, you should find that sometimes they actually give you skill like you know, 1 is to 1000 or thereabouts. You must actually know how you can interpret those skills to get the portion actually accurate. Another common issue is projection type. I know in orthography projection, we have basically mostly here in Nigeria, which is our first angle and third angle. That doesn't mean that it's not second angle, it's not a second angle, but for our schema, it's going a mix of this angle and head angle. Now, what are the difference? This is the difference. First angle, the placement is this format. Front, side, and top. Now, I always tell you guys, third angle is the opposite of first angle, or third angle is the inverse or the reverse of first angle. That is to say, if somebody that is up take first angle, bring it down. If somebody that is down in first angle, bring it up to, to make your third angle. Now, third angle goes to us, top, front and side, which is how you place these different views in third angle and in first angle. Please bear in mind, to master engineering drawings, you need to practice because I will always tell you guys, practice makes perfect. This is a key way in mastering an engineering drawing. Please, if you have any further questions, please enable to drop it in the comment section of this video. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more engaging content like this. And don't forget to check out other videos in the description part of this video. Alright guys, thanks for watching and see you in our next episode. Bye for now.